Hey everyone, if you're in the credit card game, you probably have one of these. The Chase Sapphire Prefer, right? One of the best beginner travel cards in the game. Well, that was pretty loud. Thanks CJ for the tip, but I'm gonna go over and say, you should definitely swap this card out for the Chase Inc. Business Preferred. This card has been catching a lot of heat lately because of the elevated sign-up bonus it has right now. Content creators from YouTube have been doing videos the last couple months from Brian Jung, Uncle Luke, Mark Reese, and others. And the reason why is because the sign-up bonus right now is for 100,000 Chase points for a spend of $8,000 in three months. The previous uh, sign-up bonus was for basically the same amount of points, but $15,000 in spend. So I'm gonna tell you why you should swap out the Chase Half I Preferred and replace it with the Chase Inc. Business Preferred going forward. So I want to give you a brief overview of the Chase Inc. Business Preferred and explain why this is the better card over the Chase Sapphire Preferred. It has an 150,000 annual spend and has a 3x multiplier on business-like categories such as shipping, media advertising, internet, cable, and then 3x on travel, which includes purchases, and it also includes such as train passes and stuff like that as you go internationally traveling. And huge thing that's really important is the 3x on award flight taxes and fees, which in the next segment, I'm going to explain why that's so important. It has the same $95 annual fee as preferred. It has the same 25% bonus boost when you redeem the points through uh, travel and chase portal. So to get back on the top on the 3x category for award flight and taxes, the reason why it's so important is this the Chase Inc. Business Preferred also provides protection for these purchases. When I mean protection, I mean travel and rental protection. So here we go. We've got baggage delay insurance up to $100 per day for five days on delays of six hours or more. Lost luggage reimbursement up to $3,000 per passenger. Trip cancellation interruption insurance up to $5,000 per person and 10,000 per trip. Need I go on? Sure, let's get on. Auto rental collision damage waiver. It's got travel accident insurance up to 500,000 for accidental death or dismemberment. You got roadside dispatch. You've got travel emergency assistance and you've got no foreign transaction fees. And also remember that another reason why it is just as good as Chase Sapphire Preferred is because of the fact that it has access to the same 14 transfer partners as the preferred card. So another powerful reason why you need to get this card on your lap right now and put in the Chase Inc. Business Preferred. And also, think about this too. The thing with the Chase cards, it has overlapping categories with the Freedom cards. And by swapping this out, you can actually use the Freedom cards now for dining and, and put your Chase Inc. Preferred as your, prefer, as your transfer card now. And let's be honest, most of the time, you only use that Chase Sapphire Preferred for the transfer part. So now replace it with a more powerful card for protection and a great sign-up bonus, which you can get multiple times, you know, through your SS, SSN or your EIN through your business. So you're not even limited by the 48-month, um, what is a waiting period you would get in the Sapphire cards. Oh, so now I'm be thinking, well, I, the Chase Inc. Business Preferred, it's a business card. Yes, it is a business card, but it doesn't mean that someone that you need to have a business to get it. As I've told in previous videos, you don't need not you don't you don't need to own a business to get this card. You need to do business like activities such as ride sharing, food delivery, reselling items, shoes, jewelry, whatever whatever you can think of that makes prop babysitting. All those are considered and be eligible for a business card from any issuer really. And if you cannot find a way to do that, well then I, that sucks. I mean that's you're missing a great opportunity. But if it can, take advantage of this great card, great perks protection, low annual fee, and elevated sign-up, which you can get multiple times, uh, at least two times in one year, basically. All in all, like I said, remember when it comes to sign-up bonuses, make sure you have the spend to get it when you get the card. Otherwise, don't get the credit card if you can't fulfill the sign-up sign up bonus requirements. But as I've noted, please let me know in the comments below, what do you think about my recommendation of shelving the Sapphire Preferred for the Chase Inc. Business Preferred card? And also, what do you think about the perks of the card as well? And are you considering getting it? I personally do not have it, but based on my own discussion, I do plan on trying to get it in the very near future and swap out my Chase Sapphire Preferred, maybe, maybe permanently. So we'll see. But please like, comment, and share the video. As I say always, life is short, travel more, everyone. Have a good day.